And we are back with our on the job series as we bring you Rhode Island employers who are currently hiring. And this week we're speaking with Nina Pandey, the executive director of Skills for Rhode Island's Future, about the organization's workability initiative that's aimed at helping Rhode Island employers create more equitable and inclusive hiring practices for those with disabilities. Good to see you, Nina. Good morning. Nice to be with you this morning. So we'd love to begin with talking about the Skills for Rhode Island's workability initiative and what that all means. Absolutely. So workability is another program that we offer at Skills for Rhode Island's Future to make sure that we are bringing equitable access to employment opportunities for all job seekers through what we call customized and supported employment. And essentially what customized employment is, is we work with employers throughout the state to customize work experiences that meets their hiring needs, but also supports the job seeker who may need some of that additional support to be able to be successful at their job. All right, so how does workability ensure that both employers and the job seekers are supported through this process? So we have coaches who work both with the employers as well as the job seeker. So we start with the employer, make sure we understand their hiring needs, what are the skill sets that are required, and really customize a job that would be, uh, I guess, fair and equitable is what we want to call it for the, the job seeker themselves. And then we have a job coach who actually works with the candidate to ensure that they have the skills and can meet the demands and rigor of that job. And it's through that matching process that we've seen significant success with some of our employer partners. I'm sure some of our viewers would be curious to know, you know some of the employers that you've worked with since you launched this program. Since we've launched, some of our best employer partners have been companies like Walgreens, right? Some household name companies, Tiffany and Company. And then there's some other companies that are more local like Felsch Engineering, Davidson Hospitality Group, Hotel Viking, as well as Atria Bay Senior Living. And there's many more that continue to join uh, as our employer partners continue to expand their portfolio of diversity, equity, and inclusion. They want to make sure that there's a place at the table for individuals with disabilities. All right, Nina, we appreciate this so much. We'll be posting the information on how people can reach out and learn more on our website. Thanks again for joining us, Nina. Thank you, take care. You too. And welcome back. We are back with On The Job to discuss employers who are now hiring in Rhode Island and also some of the resources supporting those in need of trying to find work this morning. We spoke with Nina Pandey, the Executive Director of Skills for Rhode Island Future, on their workability initiative. That's to ensure equitable access to job opportunities for all Rhode Islanders. Tracy Cunningham Martins, the Executive Director of Access Point Rhode Island, is joining us now. So this is an organization that collaborates with Skills RI on their workability initiative. So Tracy is going to tell us a little bit about Access Point. Good morning to you. Good morning, thank you for having me. Of course. Access Point Rhode Island is a nonprofit organization in the Cranston area that's been serving both children and adults with varying abilities since 1965. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about that mission overall. Sure, um, well, we work collaboratively with organizations in the community as well as employers to support individuals to make sure they have fulfilling lives and they can live independently or with supports that they need in their communities. With our collaboration with Skills Rhode Island, we've been able to find people jobs in their communities and match their skills with the needs of employers. You know, as part of our on the job segment, we are always interested in sharing job opportunities with our viewers. So let's talk about what Access Point might be currently hiring for, what roles you might be looking to fill. Sure, we have a variety of programs that would be very interested in hiring people with varying abilities as well. We have the Cornerstone School that supports children in an academic setting. We have uh, employment services, certainly. We have residential services and community support services that keep people in their communities, both socially, recreationally, and employed. And sometimes it's helpful for people to be able to go to Access Point and maybe search around for some more information. So tell me about where people need to go to find additional information and also to maybe even apply for a job. Sure, certainly. Please join us at accesspointri.org and you can see all of our openings that are available. All right, sounds great. Tracy, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. We'll be posting this information. Uh, absolutely, we'll be posting it on WPRI.com for you to check out. Have a great day.